looking for something different. Something along the lines of everything, everywhere, all at once. Well, this may be the one for you this year. Welcome to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional, and this is Dave from Nerdbox, and I'm accompanied by my wife, Jen, also from Nerdbox. And on this episode, we are talking about Bullet Train. So fire up the Jiffy Pop and meet us in the booth. Based on the 2010 Japanese dark comedic thriller novel written by author Kotaro Isaka, Bullet Train follows several assassins who have unknowingly boarded a train and become intertwined during their trip. And what is unfortunate for assassin Ladybug, played by Brad Pitt, is he wasn't even supposed to work that day. <laughs> Where have we heard that before? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this film is directed by David Leitch, and he has a pretty good resume coming into this film. Yeah, not a very long resume, but the movies that are on his resume are really good. We got John Wick, yes. Atomic Blonde, Deadpool 2, and then one of your favorites, The Fat and the Furious, Hobbs and Shaw spinoff. Yes. So going into this, you know, if you did your research, we didn't, because we never do, try to go on clean slate. You know that you're going to get a movie with good dialogue, some comedic elements to it, and decent action. Or yes. a lot of action. A lot of action. And just the right amount of comedy, I think. Yes. It's always good to kind of have that in there. Yeah. I think even, you know, I mean, it's a dark thriller, but it, especially in a movie that is like a dark thriller, it's really good to have some comedic relief thrown in there once in a while. Oh, yeah, I agree. I mean, some movies don't need the comedic relief. You know, like straight up mm -hmm. horror movies don't always need it, but something like a dark thriller definitely yeah. benefits from it. Mm -hmm. Bullet Train is packed almost as full of big names in Hollywood as it is dark comedy and action. Oh, yeah. Yes. Brad Pitt, known as Assassin Ladybug. I think it's a great name for him. Uh -huh. And he really just wants some peace and to rid himself of all the bad luck that he brings with him. But thanks to Maria, played by Sandra Bullock, that's not going to happen. You see Carver called in sick. So now Ladybug is covering for him on the same train as other assassins and none of them know about each other. Ever since Brad Pitt played Rusty in the Oceans franchise, I've kind of been a fan. I think that's what kind of won you over, too. Because you haven't been a Brad Pitt fan almost his entire career. Yeah, I'll admit it. I wasn't I wasn't on that, that train. I wasn't, <laughs> so to speak. I wasn't following everyone else and like, oh my God, I love Brad Pitt and, you know, blah, blah, blah. I just, he just didn't do it for me. I think watching uh, the Oceans movies 10, 15 times a piece... <laughs> kind of sold you on it yeah i do i do really like those movies and i do really like rusty who the hell is this the man who's robbing you this town your luck can change just that quickly i hope you were the groom since those movies i've really come to like his more character type films instead of him being like straight man all the time yeah but yeah. his character films, like in the movie that we just saw, The Lost City. Uh, yeah, the one with Sandra Bullock. <laughs> mm -hmm. His character in that was great. Yeah, yeah. And he, then, you know, some of the other films that he's done along the way as well. When he plays that quirky character, I think he just hits it out of the ballpark. It really shows his range in acting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's different to see kind of that side of him, but it is... Uh, he does it really, really well. He really pulls it off. Like, he's so serious about it, mm -hmm. even though it's not, like, a serious role. Yeah, and his comic timing is just amazing, and yeah. especially in this film. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. He, he's entered that realm like Johnny Depp, where I don't want to see Johnny Depp in a normal role. I'd rather see him portraying some sort of character mm -hmm. and kind of doing the little embellishments yeah. of those little quirks that that character mm -hmm. has. And this is what we get here with Brad Pitt in this. As yeah. you mentioned, he's so trying to focus on being zen yes. and break his unlucky streak yes. that you know it plays out in the film it yeah. almost felt like a continuation from the last film or a prequel to the lost city yeah his character yeah. In it. yeah it did because it was the, the same kind of character 
essentially. Mm -hmm. So he's just trying to pull his life together and then he gets that call from Maria and he's got to go on the train and then a series of unfortunate events happened along that train ride and it, it pulls you in yeah right? I went through my giant cup of soda probably within the first 40 minutes of the movie <laughs> and you were telling me like oh well you don't get re free refills but he right? didn't want to leave mm -hmm. no so. and you don't want to leave this movie because no. almost every single minute of this movie counts Yes. There's action, there's key elements to the film that you they show on the downtimes that plays into the film later yeah. on. So yeah. you definitely, if you're going to see the theater, get a small soda. <laughs> and try not to go to the bathroom during the movie because you may miss an important piece. I did not go to the bathroom during this movie because it wasn't one that I wanted to have to come back and be like, okay, what did I miss? Because sometimes that's just not enough to hear what you missed you need to see it yeah this you definitely have mm -hmm. to see it now if you like movies like rock and roll uh, and kill bill and then last year's cough shop then you're gonna like this film it's really good dialogue is excellent yes the action is very good and oh yeah that comedic touches throughout the mm -hmm. film just makes it great yeah and then of course you got all these little different elements in there that we haven't mm -hmm. seen in the films like you see in the trailer him punching the mascot in the face that's funny in the film and yeah. it's you know it still holds up you see it and you still laugh it's like this big like panda or something like that and he just punches it right in the face like mm -hmm. how could you not laugh at that <laughs> now there's been a series of train movies over the last several years yeah and i think if you want that to compare it to an action-packed train movie that was really good liam neeson's probably had the the last good one what was the transit no that's not what it was called the commuter oh that one <laughs> He's really bad at this. <laughs> I like the commuter. This is far superior. Yeah, it it was definitely superior. At least commuter wasn't like every other movie that Liam never does. Yeah, unfortunately he's just stuck in that role now. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Yep. But this movie is definitely worth seeing on the big screen if you can. So what do you rate this one? Uh, I'd go see it again. Yes. That's funny about this is because the way the movies are coming out in August, there's like weeks where there are sometimes no movies. We just yeah. got to go and find it's like, all right, hopefully this movie theater, one of the two bias will have one of those movies mm -hmm. that will be there for a few days. And Bullet Train was going to be a movie that we were going to see this coming up Tuesday, but I couldn't wait. He was just too excited. So I went and got the tickets and surprised him and he was super excited like a little kid. And I told her ahead of time, we'll just watch it again on Tuesday. He's like, well, it may not be good. It's like, well, it's going to be good. <laughs> He's like, oh, it'll be good enough to see again. Mm -hmm. And with that, that means my rating, not because we're going to, but it definitely would be, is I would watch it again in the theaters. Yes. Yeah. And that, that would be my rating, whether we were going to see it again or not. So mm -hmm. definitely go see it if you can. Yes. Now, it is the quest for 5,000 subscribers. And if we hit 100 likes and 100 comments in the videos, we're giving away movie theater swag from recent releases. There's pins, there's posters, there's coloring, coloring books. <laughs> that wasn't planned. <laughs> We've been together a really long time. <laughs> so each video that, that we hit that milestone, we'll pick out somebody that's commented and liked the video, and hopefully you have also subscribed and we will send you one of those items and pretty much of your choosing we'll, we'll let you know what we have mm -hmm. and then you can pick what you want these things average around 15 to 20 dollars to start and online. that doesn't include shipping so yeah. and we're gonna give it to you free you know? swag and then when we hit 5,000 subscribers you see this little thing here you get a chance to win that and it will be signed no longer by skid ulrich because he canceled but how about this david arquette and matthew lillard well, it depends also if we haven't reached 5,000 by that point and maybe Ski goes to a show down the line because we are going to a couple more shows. If he ends up with one of those, we could get his signature. A signature for every 1,000 till we get 5,000? That's five signatures? That's a pretty sweet deal. So make sure you're liking, you're subscribing if you're not subscribed, and you're adding comments, right? Because the more likes and comments you get, the more people get to see this because it shows up in that YouTube algorithm. And before we go, August 19th. August 19th, an exclusive live interview 
with myself and Donna Jean and the girls in the bathroom from the first scream. You know, the ones that were making fun of Sid and talking about her horrible life. The cheerleader and the girl in the bathroom, Nancy Ann Ritter and Leonora Scalfo. Yes. 7 p.m. Eastern time. Live, so you will want to tune in for that. Yes, so you can ask questions, leave comments. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun. Remember, exclusive first time ever. Yes. Right here at Nerdbox. Yes. And then if you want to see them in person together for the first time, that would be at the New Jersey Horror Con, the weekend of September 17th, I think it is, in Atlantic City. Alrighty, and you know what? Like, subscribe, and share. Yes, and until the next, see, see ya. ya.